Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this time it's going to be another video for the 2017 organizational system and I decided that I want to talk to you about brain dump notebooks and the functions of brain dumping and why you need a brain dump notebook. Um, as many of you that do follow me um, for quite some time now because I have uh, quite a bunch of videos up for you to see. Um, I do suffer from anxiety and panic attacks at times and one of the things that I really really found very helpful is having a brain dump notebook around because um, for me it is a way of trying to find peace maybe um, before I go to bed maybe at some point during the day, but I need to have a brain dump notebook. Um, I just want to say one important thing. A brain dump notebook is a place where you need to find peace, whether it is because you are doing a list, whether it's because you are just scribbling and drawing and writing whatever comes to your mind, um, whether it is a place where you just, I don't know, write notes, whatever. A brain dump notebook is a place where you just um, open it up and you simply write whatever comes to your mind without any structure. So it needs to be attractive to you in that particular moment and it needs to give you peace and fe that feeling of your mind being at rest that there is nothing that you are going to forget. At least this is my experience with brain dump notebooks. It all started um, throughout these years with having a planner. But at the end of the day, some of the things that came uh, come up to me and that happened or that they needed just to be noted did not have a date. Or for example, I do remember that I have to do something specific, um, buy something or check out something and I still don't know the date when I will be able to do that. So where is that thing going to happen? It's going to be written in my brain dump notebook because the first thing that happens when the idea comes to me, I need to write it down. Um, simply because when something comes up in my mind, I uh, tend to forget. And what happens is that if I do not jot it down immediately in, in, a, in a specific place, in a particular notebook or paper or whatever, um, I will end up for sure forgetting about it and then I will be getting depressed because I kick myself in the butt, to be honest, that I did forget something because to me, the way I am, my anxiety and the, the way I deal with myself is that I'm a very perfectionist person and I do not accept that I do any sort of mistake. That's bad, I know, but somehow a brain dump notebook just helps me to fix this because I have my notebook, I jot it down immediately, whatever that might be, and I can rest, my mind can go um, can be in peace that whatever it has to process, it has been processed and it can go out. So I don't know how many of you might relate to what I have been saying so far, but this is my process. It might happen that I'm in a restaurant, I'm just speaking to my partner or to a friend um, or even to my parents sometimes and they just tell me, listen, we have to do this or there is something I think you could be uh, checking uh, about and I just don't want to forget about that, about that. So what happens at the end of the day is that we enter in so many conversations, so many things happen. We are always going into such a big rush all the time that we end up forgetting and a brain dump should fix this. Um, to me, a brain dump notebook helps me just to feel better. and. One other thing that I feel is that a brain dump is something that changes constantly in any uh, given year. I can stick to a planner for a whole year and I can stick to all its uh, sections that I put in at the beginning of the year, but I can't uh, stick for weeks and months to the same brain dump notebook. Just because the way I think my thinking process makes me want to have something new all the time. So 
The brain dump notebook is something that changes all the time, but it's something that gives me peace and also that feeling of having something new constantly um, for you to use. So this is what I go through when I just tackle my brain dumping. Not everybody might be the same as usual, but this is basically my experience. And what I'm going to show you in this video so far, um, I'm going to show you uh, my last brain dump notebooks for the last two months. This is my planner. This is the planner I have uh, reset up. Um, for the last quarter of the year. Um, I have a section for Christmas uh, planning also because I just wanted to incorporate Christmas planning with all the rest of the planning and the project management. It will be my closing of the year and as you can see I have also chosen a red planner. This is the Filofax Metropole in red. It's a fantastic planner that I have had I think for two or three years now and it's in beautiful condition. Um, I have used it at work and now I'm using it for my personal planner and this is a section that I have set up into this planner just in case it happens that I don't have my current brain dump notebook. Um, I need a place where I can scribble, where, where I can write whatever comes to my mind without having to worry about um, setup, to worry about being organized, or writing neatly or whatever. Um, this is why I do have um, plain paper. Something that I have learned over these months and that I have come to realize is that I can't go on and I can't function properly if I have my brain dump with lined paper. You might say, but you have grid paper over here, but as you can see, the boxes are quite large and I'm keeping these papers at the moment because I am setting up my partner's um, Christmas presents and birthday presents because he has the birthday and the Christmas coming into the same two weeks uh, time. So I need these papers because I'm planning what is going to happen. This is why. But the rest of my brain dump section is plain paper. As you can see, I need this type of paper. I can't have my brain dump with lines, with squares, with grid, with dotted lines, whatever. It's just a bunch of plain paper. So many times I do purchase notebooks um they are bound they are cheaper than the filofax paper and then i just punch holes into them and put them in my uh in my planner um so the brain dump section is always always present in whatever planner i have there is also a divider that will be um, for my brain dumping and that is very important to me what happens is that sometimes I have maybe a smaller bag or maybe I'm not going out uh, taking with me all my planner. So I end up having uh, other notebooks and that is where I do all the planning stuff. Um, so the process I mainly follow is sometimes things get into my brain dump because they do not have a date when they're going to be accomplished. And then from my brain dump, I just go to my daily pages in my planner and I will be planning when those things will happen. Sometimes um, things um, from my brain dump don't go to my planner but simply go to my to-do list because um, I have not yet decided when I am going to do them. So to move a little bit my planner, these are the latest brain dump notebooks I have had in the last two months. As you can see, I have changed a lot. Now I'm in this one and this paper dory in the A5 size is holding a moleskin um, with uh, plain paper, another lined sort of moleskin notebook, but it's not a moleskin, and just two other notebooks that I have had from previous brain dump notebooks, which I have uh, tore out a bunch of papers and tossed them and now I'm uh, left with the other blank pages and I decided just to put it in there so if I need to scribble more or just cut a piece of paper or something I can just do that. So this is my brain dump notebook at the moment. This is what I'm using. Sometimes I just also take out my moleskin which I'm going to show you um, 
and to just take that depending on my activity of the day but in the past i have also had um traveler's notebooks many times um this is one which has five booklets but i have had traveler's notebooks in the pocket size traveler's notebooks in the a5 and also in the regular size so i have changed a lot what kept constant was that i always had a brain dump notebook and that my brain dump areas dividers or notebooks were always as i said in plain paper this is just to give you an example because um in the past month i was using this one this is from parfois and it's a planner i think i purchased it two years ago um and i had as you can see once again some stickies and just a bunch of plain paper at the back i had some lined paper but that's that um and i also during this year had another a5 which has uh, a multiple plain paper too so this is what i was using two months ago um before i was using one like this in the a6 size this is brand new it was not this one but i am debating whether to move my christmas planning into something like this probably in this planner i don't know for the moment i'm feeling comfortable keeping it in my planner in my main planner which i take with me every day but um this is very nice and i have ordered also another one from this one um in gold but there were times um, during this year that I had a brain dump in a six binder and also this one in the a five binder. Now, let me just move to what I am using today, which is this one, as I said. And let me move these a little bit. Okay. So this is what I'm having. This is a Moleskine Classic. Um, as you can see, I have just attached a clip and I have a multicolor pen. And if I just open to a page, I have numbered the pages, as you can see. And I have, um, I'm keeping this brain dump notebook in the bullet journal style. I'm not following the rules of the bullet journals, um, same as there are so many videos. But I just picked up the things that I liked from the bullet journal style and I have incorporated them into this brain dump notebook. What I have, I have also prepared my index. For the moment, I just have my birthday holiday list with the page numbers, things to be purchased whenever. So if, for example, I'm in a restaurant and... I'm thinking or something comes to my mind about what I need to purchase, but I don't know when I will be purchasing it. For example, I need to purchase a bunch of other molluskins and I don't know when I will be going for those purchases. What happens is that I go to page five and I will be, I have covered it for the moment, but I will be including it into this uh, page as you can see things to be purchased whenever if i have um, another thing is money to be paid to someone for example if i need to pay uh, a bill or i need to someone purchase something for me and i need to just give them back those money i can keep a note in there um there are also the books to finish off for this year because i have three unfinished books which i really need to finish them up before the beginning uh, of the next year and so far I have also my apartment. What I have done, this is a running list of projects, um, what I have done is at the back and at the end I have included things to do because my things to do and I have covered the page start from the back. As you can see I have done this note and I am covering a little bit the pages. But my things to do is a running list which starts from the back and then continues to the following pages as you can see here. Um, after that, what I have is in the middle, I have a section which, let me find it, I have named Scribble and Dump. So this page and this section starts with just blank pages. As you can see, there is a lot of blank pages. 
and I had this magnetic paper clip just to sign the page where this is for the simple reason by the way I have started it as you can see in the middle um, for the simple reason that uh, I need a place where to draw or put notes in whatever format I need to uh, put them in that particular moment and this is just a section for that so here there will be nothing which is neat there will be nothing which will be written neatly or organized or something I just need a place where to open um, my notebook write whatever I need to write when I'm specifically um, and particularly in a hurry I just need to open that section and write whatever I need to write so this is what my brain dump is all about um, I've got sections, as I told you, I have different ones um, that I have um, put on, as you can see here, and I have also included sort of what a brain dump means to me. And this is my brain dump. This is the place designed to give me peace and solution for my anxiety. These are points, by the way, that have inspired why I do have a brain dump. Um, again, the second point is this is where whatever crosses your mind is going to be written. This is the book you are going to reach out for when you feel overloaded with thoughts and things to be done or taken care of immediately or in the coming days. If you want to write, to draw, to list, to remember something after or just a place where you can do whatever you want, get this book. This book um, needs to give you peace. And as you can see, there's that big piece over there, which is so, so important. So basically, this is why I have a brain dump. Here I have another notebook, which is lined. I have not yet started using it, but I'm just keeping it for whatever I might need. And here is another lined notebook. Um, I just hope I'm not going to show you anything. It's a lined sort of in the format of Moleskin, but it's not a Moleskin, it's just a notebook that I have purchased. Um, and here I do, uh, I've done one thing here, which is, yeah, daily plans in sequence. So what I do is I have um, the things that need to get done in a particular day on my planner, which was a daily uh, planner, uh, day per page. But sometimes other things crop up. For example, um, at some point I need to uh, wash my hair, etc. Do a facial or something like that. Or do something um, of a house towards nature. And they are usually not written into my planner because they are routine things. But at some point I do need to know what my day will include completely. Including all the small things. Even if I... For example, something funny, even if I need to take out the garbage or just clear out the clutter in my kitchen or wash the dishes, there are things that, yeah, they will be done for sure. You can't go without doing them and they are part of your routine. But I need to know what my day will be all about, what relaxing time, what free time will I be having during that day. Those things are not things that you plan beforehand, but you know that you have to do them. And this is the place where I just write the date at the top. I'm not gonna uh, show you one because there are a bunch of personal things. But this is the place where I do open the notebook and I will start writing what I need to be uh, doing in that particular day, one after the other. So I can follow in sequence my to-dos and know um, that I am tackling the things and the tasks by priority. Um, so if I need to do a call in a particular time, I know that I need to put it, for example, the first thing in the morning. Or if I need to post something, um, I know that I need to do it in a particular time. So this is where I do the planning in sequence according to priority. And this is why I decided to have this type of notebook. At the back, I have a grid-like notebook. Um, this is another residue from previous brain dumps because when I decide not to be using any more um, a specific brain dump, I just um, get out the pages that are being used and I 
just leave the remaining pages in the notebook so that maybe I can incorporate that notebook into another brain dump. And this is what I have done. And in fact, yesterday I have used one of these notebooks because I needed to jot down something immediately. I was on the go and I was calling someone and I was just uh, needing just a piece of paper where I could scribble and I had the, my brain dump available and so I just took out a page and wrote whatever I needed to write. So, um, I know it has been a long video, I know I have rambled for quite a long time, but I really, really wanted to explain my brain dump uh, notebook process, and I'm gonna put these all like that. Um, but it was very important to me to explain um, because some of the people out there have reached out to me and they wanted to know about uh, what I use a brain dump for, how I use them, what I use, what type of notebook. Um, as Marianne from Pocket Full of Vintage has said many times in her videos, um, a planner, a notebook, whatever that might be, is just a vessel. So whatever you use, it doesn't matter as long as it makes you feel good, as it gives you peace, as it gives you uh, that feeling that your mind is at rest, it's not a big deal. It could be a piece of paper, it could be a piece of newspaper or a wrapping paper, whatever. It's just the most important thing is that you feel at peace and that you feel that there is basically nothing which is hindering your well-being. Um, so choose whatever you want always and as I said in many videos try to use whatever you have because us uh, those in the planner community and the people that like stationery like me tend to hoard a lot because we see all these planners and we love them we like them and we would just like to have them all and like me I do have a huge cabinet full of planners that I don't know whether I will ever be able to use them in my whole lifetime. So that is very important. So I hope that you have liked this video. I hope that I have managed to inspire you a little bit and to explain any of the things that were not that much clear, maybe to some of you out there. And until the next video, take care. Bye.